All thermoforming methods have six processing steps. They are load, heat, form, cool, part removal, and trim. Load. The sheet is placed in a clamp frame and held down on all four sides. Heating. After loading, the sheet is ready to be indexed to the heating station. Depending on the machine design, the sheet will be indexed to the heaters or the heaters move to the sheet. In either case, heaters above and below the sheet heat the plastic to its forming temperature typically from 285 degrees to 375 degrees Fahrenheit depending on the type of plastic. As the sheet is heated it loses strength and begins to sag. To experience thermoforming personnel the amount of sag and the shape of the sag is a useful indicator of how evenly the sheet has been heated and how well the plastic can be formed. For some part designs, the sheet is intentionally heated unevenly to improve the plastic distribution in the formed part. Molds for production are usually made of aluminum. Aluminum is easy to machine from a solid block or be cast from a pattern. Aluminum is an excellent conductor of heat, so it cools the plastic parts efficiently. Prototype molds and molds for low production quantities might be made out of wood, fiberglass, and even plaster. When the sheet is sealed against a mold surface, air under the sheet is trapped. Using a vacuum to remove the air forces the sheet against the mold surface. The air under the sheet leaves the mold through vents. To remove large amounts of air, the mold has gaps in the assembly. Drilled vent holes are used in locations where small volumes of air are likely to be trapped. Here is the simplest of the thermoforming methods. The plastic sheet is heated in a clamp frame until it's rubbery. A vacuum removes the air from under the sheet and atmospheric air pressure stretches the sheet into the mold. Some regions stretch more than others and this causes uneven sheet thickness. In this part, made in a female mold, the thickest plastic is at the top flange where the sheet first touches the mold surface and begins cooling. The sheet becomes thinner as it was stretched to the bottom of the cavity. The distribution of the sheet in this female mold is thickest at the top flange thinning down along the walls and the thinnest at the base of the molded part. If we form the part on a male mold, the mold moves up to the heated sheet. The plastic first touches the metal at the projection and this plastic is held there and begins cooling. The rest of the sheet thins as it is stretched to the flanged region. The sheet is sealed around the mold and vacuum is applied. Atmospheric pressure presses the sheet onto the mold. The sheet distribution is the opposite of the previous mold, thick at the base of the formed part and a decreasing sidewall thickness towards the flange. The flange itself will have varying thickness, thin at the corners, thicker towards the clamp frame. Drape thermoforming is where plastic sheet is draped over a male mold. The sheet stretches as it is pulled. Another way to stretch the sheet into a deep section is called plug assist. In fixed plug assist, a plug is attached to the upper half of the mold. The mold closes and the plug stretches the sheet. A vacuum then pulls the sheet onto the surface of the mold. The plug has pre-stretched additional plastic where it is needed. The shape of the plug affects the sheet distribution to improve the part thickness along the bottom and in the corners. 
A variation of plug assist is third motion plug assist, where the plug moves into the sheet after the mold is closed. A basic thermoforming causes the sheet to be thinnest, where the plastic sheet is stretched the most. There is very little control over part thickness. Plug assist and drape assist are methods to improve the sheet thickness distribution in thermoformed parts. In this example of plug assist, a plug moves into the sheet. Until the vacuum is started, air trapped under the sheet causes the plastic to billow and begin to climb up the sides of the plug. The plug should not cool the plastic and may even be temperature controlled. The plastic next to the plug keeps its thickness, but the plastic not in contact with the plug continues to stretch and thin. When the vacuum is applied by either a timer or a position sensor, the sheet is pulled away from the plug and onto the cavity walls, where it cools quickly. It's apparent that sheet distribution is affected by how far the plastic climbs the plug before the vacuum pulls it away.